Let's see how to solve this exam-style question involving polynomial functions and the remainder theorem. We're given f of x, which is a cubic polynomial with an unknown coefficient. And we're told that the remainder upon division by x minus 3 is 58. We're asked to find the value of p, which is the unknown coefficient multiplying the x squared. To do this, I'll just start by moving the question to the side. And now we can get started. Now, the key bit of information we need to pick up on here is the fact that we're told that the remainder, when we divide f of x by x minus 3, is equal to 58. And what makes that important is the fact that the remainder theorem, so if I just write that, that's the remainder theorem, theorem, tells us that when we divide a polynomial function f of x by a linear like x minus 3, the remainder, so I'll just write the remainder, is equal to f of 3. And here's the trick. Although we can't calculate f of 3 because we don't know what the coefficient p is, we do know that f of 3 has to be equal to 58. Indeed, we know from the question that the remainder is 58, but we also know from the remainder theorem that the remainder is f of 3. So without even thinking, we can go ahead and state that f of 3 equals to 58. But f of 3, and therefore 58, also has to equal to the expression we'd obtain by replacing every x we see inside f of x by 3. So let's go ahead and do that. We can state that f of 3 is equal to 2 times 3 cubed plus p times 3 squared minus 10 times 3 minus 11. And that's equal to 2 times 3 cubed, which is 27, plus p times 3 squared, which is p times 9, so that's 9p, minus 10 times 3, which is 30, minus 11. And if I carry on with my working right here, that leads to f of 3, which equals to 2 times 27, which is 54, plus 9p, minus 30, minus 11. So I'll just write that, that's minus 30, minus 11. Now, gathering like terms, we have 54 minus 30, so that's 24, minus 11, which is 13. So we can state that f of 3 is equal to 13 plus 9p. But now, since we know that f of 3 is equal to 58, and that f of 3 is equal to 13 plus 9p, we can go ahead and state that 13 plus 9p has to equal to 58. Now, solving for p, we subtract 13 from both sides of this equation, which leads to 9p equals to 58 minus 13, which is 45. And now, dividing both sides by 9 leads to p is equal to 45 over 9. In other words, p is equal to 5. And that's the answer. And if needs be, we could even write that f of x is equal to 2x cubed plus... 5x squared, so that's 5x squared, minus 10x, minus 11. And we're done. And so that's how to solve this typical exam question involving the remainder theorem. And that's it for this tutorial.